God bless you. I got really nervous when they handed the mic to Dr. Engel. Me puse muy nervioso cuando le dieron el micrófono al Dr. Engel. You got two preachers up here ready to preach. Dos predicadores listos para predicar. Now I tweeted about you earlier today. Uh, hice un tweet uh, acerca de ustedes hace rato. That I would be here. Que yo estaría aquí. And the response that I got was this was a passionate group of students. Y la respuesta fue que ustedes son un grupo apasionado. I assume that y'all are going to shout the preacher down. I assume you have your, your favorite phrase that when you feel the Lord, you shout it out. So let's practice real quick on the count of three. I want to hear your phrase. When you shout the preacher down. Cuando reprenden al predicador. One, two, three. Come on. We're going to have fun. This is going to be good. Listen, thank you so much. It Gracias. took me about 30 seconds, me tomó 30 seconds to realize darme cuenta I met the West Coast version que me di, me conocí la, el lado oeste of my president. De mi presidente. In my mind, en mi mente, there was no other president, no había otro presidente that could be as passionate que tenía tanta pasión as my president. Como mi presidente. But halfway down the hall, Pero caminando en el pasillo, and your president had his preach on, y su presidente, y su presidente ya estaba predicando, I started reaching in my pocket for an offering. Y empecé a, 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 a coger la ofrenda. I felt like, why am I here? Y dije, ¿por qué estoy aquí? I can't out preach this man. No puedo predicar más que este hombre. It's good to be here with you. Es bueno estar aquí con ustedes. I am passionate about student leaders. Tengo mucha pasión por los líderes estudiantiles. I'm passionate about possibilities. Estoy apasionado por las posibilidades. And I believe God y sé que Dios has called you te ha llamado to make a difference. A hacer una diferencia. And when I begin to read about your focus, y cuando em, em, empiezo a ver tu enfoque, that the mission of this place, que la misión de esta escuela, is to equip next generation leaders. Es equipar a los siguientes a los líderes de siguiente generación. For next generation ministry. Para la generación del siguiente. I felt like I was coming home. Sentí que ya estaba en casa. So let's get into God's word. Entremos a la palabra de Dios. Ephesians chapter 2. Efesios 2. You're going to hear the expanded version. Van a escuchar la versión expandida. Of what Dr. Engel shared with you today. De lo que el Dr. Engel compartió con ustedes. Paul is writing to the church of Ephesus. Pa Pablo escribe a la iglesia de Éfeso. And in chapter 2, he's reminding them. Y en, y en capítulo 2 les, les recuerda where they came from. de dónde ellos vinieron. I believe you'll never get where you're going sé que nunca llegarán a donde van if you forget where you came from. si te olvidas de dónde tú viniste. Paul is reminding them that we are a broken people. Pablo les acuerda que son un pueblo quebrantado. That we were a lost people. Que éramos un pueblo perdido. That we were without hope. Que te, no teníamos esperanza. That we were without joy. Que no, nos faltaba el gozo. But in verse 4, Pero en el versículo 4, he says but Dice, pero, he says, but él dice, pero, Christ Jesus came Cristo Jesús vino and brought life y trajo vida and life to the full. Y vida enteramente. I think the message that Paul was giving to the church of Ephesus el mensaje que Pablo estaba dando a Efesios is a message you and I es el mensaje que tú y yo have to grab on today, tienen que aferrar hoy, tomorrow, mañana, and the next day, y el siguiente día. You're gonna live into your divine design, si vas a vivir en el diseño you're gonna have to have this message, tú tienes que tener este mensaje deep in your heart. profundo en tu corazón. And so the passage that I want to talk about el pasaje que quiero hablar hoy is chapter 2 and verse 10. El capítulo 2, versículo 10. And Paul writes, for we are his workmanship. Porque somos hechura suya. Created in Christ Jesus for good works. Creado en Cristo Jesús para buenas obras. Which God afore prepared that we should walk in them. Las cuales Dios separó de mano para que anduviésemos en ellas. Now the New Living Translation says that we are God's masterpiece. La nueva traducción dice somos la obra maestra de Dios. You know sometimes we we uh, we celebrate too much the heroes of the Bible. Algunas veces celebramos mucho los héroes de la Biblia. As if they weren't real people. Como que si no fueran personas reales. But when you begin to think about who God uses. Pero si tú te acuerdas de quién Dios usa. Do you ever wonder why He chose them? Te, alguna vez te preguntas por qué los escogió a ellos. Think about it. Es, pregúntate. He found a murdering outlaw with a speech impediment. Encontró a, a un asesino que, que era tartamudo. To lead a nation out of captivity. A guiar una nación fuera de la cautividad. He had a murderer who had committed adultery. He said was a man after my own heart. Tenía un asesino que era un adúltero y lo llamó un hombre tras el corazón de Dios. He captured an angry Jew. Capturó a un judío enojado on the road to Damascus en el camino a Damasco and said, you y le dijo, tú are going to proclaim the gospel. Vas a proclamar el evangelio. 
And he wrote the majority of the New Testament. Y escribió la mayoría del Nuevo Testamento. You know, I just think if we ask those questions, si hacemos estas preguntas, and you're in this room, en este salón, you ask yourself this question. Te haces tú esta pregunta. God, why did you pick me? ¿Por qué me escogiste tú a mí, Dios? Have you ever had that moment? ¿Te has, has tenido tú este momento? Where you wonder, God, what are you going to do with someone like me? Uh, ¿Qué vas a hacer tú con alguien como yo? That's exactly what the enemy wants you to think. Eso es lo que el enemigo quiere que tú pienses. He wants you to doubt who God says you are. Quieres que tú dudes quién do, quién Dios es. He wants you to get your eyes off of Christ. Quiere que tú quites tu enfoque de Cristo and on to your past mistakes. Y a tu um, eh, y te enfoques en tu pasado. I believe that if you're going to live out your destiny, si tú vas a vivir tu destino, you're going to have to hold on to Ephesians 2:10. Vas a tener que aferrarte a Efesios 2:10. When I was 16 years old, cuando tenía yo 16 años, God called me into full-time ministry. Dios me llamó a ministerio entero. I was in a room very much like this. Estaba con un salón parecido a este. I wasn't supposed to be there that night. No estaba supuesto estar ahí esa noche. In fact, my father walked in. Mi padre entró when I was getting ready for a hot day. Que me estaba preparando para ir a una cita. And said, "You're not going out tonight. You're going with me." Dice, "Tú no vas a ir afuera esta noche. Vas a ir conmigo." Now my father is a pastor. Mi padre es un pastor. Any PKs in the room? A good pastor. My people. <laughs> and I looked at my father, 16 years old, and I said, I'm not going. And he looked back at me and said, Yes, you are. And I said, No, I'm not, and you can't make me. I experienced the strength of Samson. <laughs> and then understood that God strengthens men of anointing. I went. I get there and we're late. Llegué y llegamos tarde. I'm sitting on the back row. Y estoy en la última fila. And I pulled off my letterman's jacket and folded it over the chair. Me quité mi chamarra y la puse sobre la silla. My dad didn't talk to anybody. Mi padre no habló con nadie. We didn't own a cell phone. No teníamos celulares. And about midway through the service, a través del servicio, the preacher stopped. El predicador para. And he said, "There's a young man here tonight." Ahí dijo, "Hay un joven aquí esta noche." There's a young man here tonight. And God's got a message for you. Dios tiene un mensaje para ti. He says you're a football player. Si tú juegas fútbol. And you didn't want to come tonight. Y no, te, no querías venir hoy en la noche. You actually fought with your father. Tú peleaste con tu padre. He says I actually know what you look like. Don't make me come get you. Dice yo sé cómo te miras. Yo te voy a agarrar. It was about right at that moment. Fue en ese momento. My entire youth group. Mi, eh, eh, mi grupo de juvenil turned around and looked right at me <laughs> tears coming down my face y, y lágrimas caían sobre I el walked pie. down the aisle caminé sobre el pasillo and I got there and he laid his hands and prayed on me y puso sus manos y oró sobre mí and said God has a call on your life to ministry y dijo Dios tiene un llamado a ti para ministerio and I looked up at him y lo volteé a ver angry enojado because I didn't want to be who my father was yo no quería ser como mi padre era I had seen two church splits eh, había visto dos iglesias I was irse. positive the church was broken eh, estaba seguro que la iglesia estaba quebrando wasn't even sure I was crazy about God ni siquiera sabía que estaba loco por Dios and in that moment y en ese momento God called me Dios me llamó okay. in my brokenness en mi quebrantamiento he said you're a masterpiece me dijo que yo era una obra maestra let me tell you something don't let your circumstance no permitas que tus circunstancias define who you are define quien tú Eres. Don't let your past no permitas que tu pasado determine your future. Determine tu futuro. God calls you a masterpiece. Dios te llama una obra He maestra. says there's no one else on earth like you. Dice que no hay nadie He que created Dios. you uniquely. Te creó únicamente. So fast forward. Uh, nos vamos más adelante. I was pastoring at a church in Winston Salem, North Carolina. Estaba pastoreando una iglesia en Carolina del Norte. And the church had drifted from its mission to serve and sacrifice. Y la iglesia se había apartado de su, de su misión de sacrificio y servicio. So the pastor and I had an idea to shut the church down for a week. Y el pastor y yo no cerré la iglesia por una semana. And not give them any budget. Y no darles nada. And tell them go love a city. Y, y decirles vayan a amar una ciudad. And see what happened. Y va, y ver qué va a pasar. When we begin to trust God again. Cuando volvemos a confiar en Dios. Next thing I know, the church mobilized. La iglesia se moviliza. Barbers and hairstylists came out. 
los barberos y, y cortapelos salieron to cut the hair of the homeless. a cortar los pelos de, lo, de, 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 los, de los pobres people began to donate clothes las personas donaron ropas and help people with their resumes y ayudar a las personas con sus resumes so they could find a job right out of jail sus hojas de vida para encontrar trabajos fuera del cárcel we found ourselves in the heart of the city y nos encontramos en el corazón de hundreds la ciudad hundreds of people coming cientos de personas viniendo And I realized then y me di cuenta entonces that sometimes the sound of grace que alguna vez el sonido de la gracia or the sound of clippers going through a homeless man's hair o, o la resuladora pasando por una persona que no tiene hogar sometimes the feet of Jesus algunas veces los pies de Jesús is an English major son eh, un, un, un maestro de inglés helping someone with their resume ayudando a alguien a escribir su hoja de vida and in the middle of that there was a worship team singing y en medio de eso estaba un grupo de alabanza cantando and they just finished y acababan de terminar and I saw a friend of mine walking across the room y vi a un amigo mío caminando en el salón do you have any friends that you feel like sit on God's lap tienen algunos que sienten que se sientan en, la, en las piernas de kind Dios of, kind of prophetic que eres profético and they scare you every time they walk up to you y te asusta cada vez que caminas you know what I'm talking about yeah you know what I'm talking about his name was John su nombre era John And the worship had just finished, and he walked up, and I said, "John, how did you like the worship?" Y ese se fue y le dije, ¿Cómo, cómo te gustó la alabanza? And he gave me the look. Y me dio esa vista. The prophet look. El, la vista del profeta. You know that look. You're getting ready to get spanked. Que estás listo para recibir un, un mensaje. God's getting ready to discipline you. Dios está a punto de disciplinar. And he answered me. He said, "Chris, I don't believe in worship." Y le, y, y le dijo, Chris, yo no creo en, en oración. At least not the way you do. En la, en una forma que tú lo haces. He put his arm around me. Puso su mano sobre mí. He said, "Do you see that homeless woman over there?" Mira esa, esa mujer uh, ahí. She had everything she owned in her hand. Tenía todo lo que ella le pertenecía en sus manos. I said, "Yes, I see her." Dije, sí, la miro. He said, "She is a unique expression of God." Ella es una expresión única de Dios. That does not exist anywhere else on this planet. Que no existe ninguna en este, en este planeta. And as I give value and worth to her life, y, y yo le doy valor y, y a, a su vida, I give worth to her maker. Yo le doy gloria a su a, a su said, That is my act of worship. Es, es, es mi, mi acto de so in that moment, I begin to realize that how I have viewed God. Me di cuenta en la forma que yo miraba a Dios. And how I had viewed worship. Y cómo miraba la adoración. Was off. Estaba mala. That God had created me uniquely. Que Dios me había creado únicamente a mí. That I was a masterpiece. Que, que yo era una obra maestra. Placed on this world. Puesto en este mundo. To do a work for God. Hacer una obra para Dios. I just want to encourage you this morning. Solo quiero motivarlos esta mañana. When the enemy comes with his lies. Cuando el enemigo venga con sus mentiras. Don't let him lead you astray. No permitas que él te, te haga desviarte. Let me give you a few things that might help you. Déjame darte unas cosas que te ayuden. Don't let sin distract you. No permitas que el pecado te distraiga. God's grace is sufficient. La gracia de Dios es más que suficiente. Don't let your past derail you. No permitas que tu uh, pasado te desviele. His future is brighter. Tu, el futuro de él es más, más brilloso. Don't let other people's opinion. No permitas que las opiniones de los demás keep you from living the life God called you to. Te retengan de vivir la vida que Dios te ha llamado a vivir. Remember. Acuérdense. Who He says you are. Quien él dice que tú eres. You are a master. Tú eres una obra maestra. The second thing that he says to us. La segunda cosa que él dice a nosotros. Is that we were created anew in Christ Jesus. Que fuimos una creación nueva en Cristo Jesús. Everybody say new. Todos digan nueva. Everybody say new. Digan nueva. God says I have made you new in me. Él dice que él los hizo nuevos en él. And so when you find yourself discouraged, cuando te encuentras desanimado, and you find yourself wondering why me, God, y te preguntas por qué yo, Dios, begin to lean into Scripture, apóyate en las escrituras, and see what He says about you when you're in Him. Y mira lo que él dice cuando tú estás en él. Scripture says that in Christ we find forgiveness. Dice que en Cristo encontramos perdón. In Christ we are called His sons and daughters. En Cristo somos llamados hijos e hijas. In Christ we find grace and peace. En Cristo encontramos gracia y paz. In Christ we find our en Cristo encontramos esta provisión. If you're going to do what God called you to do, si vas a hacer lo que Dios te llamó a hacer, it will rarely ever happen. Uh, uh, muy, muy pocas veces pasará, except for one step at a time. As, al, al menos que sea un paso a la vez. He says you have to trust in me every day. Dice que tienes que confiar en él todos los días. So I met her in January of this year. Si conocí en enero de este año. 
She had a smile that seemed to come from heaven itself. Tenía una sonrisa que venía del cielo mismo. No, no, I'm not talking about my wife. I've been married for 19 years. No, 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 no. That's 19 years ago. I saw her coming across campus. And she did have a smile from heaven. Y tenía una sonrisa del cielo. But this, this lady was serving me. Pero esta, esta señora estaba sirviéndome. At church on a Sunday morning. En iglesia un domingo en la mañana. I preached for my father in my home church. Prediqué para mi padre en mi en mi en mi iglesia. And we had dinner afterwards. Y teníamos la cena después. And she came by to grab the plate. Y vino a agarrar el plato. And she had this smile. Y tenía esa sonrisa. You know what I'm talking about, right? Saben de qué me refiero. It's a genuine smile. Es una sonrisa genuina. That comes straight from the soul. Que viene desde el fondo del alma. And when I saw her smile and walk away, I never spoke to her. Cuando vi que sonrió y se apartó nunca la hablé. I looked at my father. I said, Who is she and why? Why is she smiling? Y le dije, ¿quién es ella y por qué sonríe? Then he started to smile. Y él empezó a sonreír. I think smiles are contagious. Dice, las sonrisas son contagiosas. And he began to tell me this story. Y me dijo esta historia. The three months earlier. Que tres meses antes. He had preached the message on trusting God. Había predicado un, un mensaje de confiar en Dios. And he didn't realize that she was a single mom. Y no se daba cuenta que era una, una madre soltera. Living in a one-bedroom apartment. Vivía en un apartamento de un cuarto. With four kids. Con cuatro hijos. There was no room. No había ningún espacio. No money to advance herself. Y no ni un dinero para avanzar. Here my father's preaching. Aquí está mi padre predicando. And he challenges his people. Y reta a su pueblo. He said, whatever you need. Lo que tú necesites. Write it on a piece of paper. Escríbelo en un papel. And bring it and put it at the foot of the cross. Y tráelo al pie de la cruz. He didn't know. No sabía. Until later on, hasta que más adelante, that she had written on that piece of paper, que ella había escrito en ese papel, I need a house for my children. Necesito una casa para mis hijos. He had gotten a phone call a few weeks earlier. Había recibido una una llamada unos unas semanas antes. And it was this lady. Y era esta señora. And she said, Pastor, would you come and dedicate my new home? Y dice, Pastor, ven a dedicar mi nuevo hogar. He said, What new home? Qué nueva casa? And she began to weep over the phone. Y empezó a llorar sobre el teléfono. And she began to tell him the story of how she wrote it on a piece of paper. Y le comentó and that Christ had given her a house to habitat for humanity. Y que Cristo le había dado una casa a través de habitat para humanidad. And she wanted to dedicate this house to God. Y se la quería dedicar a Dios. My dad tears down his down his face. Mi padre estaba llorando. Said I would love to be there and I'll show up and I'll bless your home. Se me encantaría estar aquí. Voy a llegar y voy a bendecir tu hogar. For you see, when you're in Christ, cuando tú estás en Cristo, nothing is impossible. Nada es imposible. Nothing is impossible. I believe that all that love the Lord and I believe you're going to be preaching somewhere and you're going to have people come up with a need and you're going to challenge them to step out in faith and you're going to challenge them to step out in faith and God's going to answer their prayer step out in faith and God's going to answer their prayer step out in faith and God's going to answer their prayer step out in faith and God's going to answer their prayer not because of who you are not because of what you've done not because of who he is but all you need is Jesus it's Jesus and when you Today, tomorrow, Hoy, mañana, next week, la all you semana, need is Jesus. Todo lo que es Jesús. If you take your eyes off of Christ, si tú quitas tus ojos de Jesús, then you're in trouble. Entonces estás en problema. When you start to think you did it on your own, cuando lo haces tú mismo, then solo, you're in trouble. Entonces tú estás en problema. And if you're going to live out like a masterpiece, si vas a vivir como una obra maestra, it's only possible in Jesus. Solo es posible en Jesucristo. Then there's joy. Entonces hay there's gozo. Grace. Hay, hay gracia. There's provision. Hay provisión. There's identity. Hay identidad. All in Jesus. En Jesucristo. How many of you love photography? ¿Cuántos Film? aman la fotografía y, 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 y los videos? Any artists in the room? Los artistas. Any artists? Todos los artistas. I have a friend named John. Tengo un amigo llamado John. He's a recent graduate from Southeastern. Es un uh, graduado de Southeastern. He did an interdisciplinary study degree. Hizo un, un estudio indisciplinario. Indiscipl Communications and theology. Comunicaciones en teología. John had an eye for a camera. Tenía un ojo por 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 la por la cámara. And a heart for the mission field. Y un corazón para la misión. And he kept coming and talking. I was mentoring him. Y venía a hablar a mí y y yo lo estaba disipulando. He says, Chris, I don't I don't want to just go on the mission field. Y me dijo, no solo quiero ir al campo misionero. I want to go on the mission field exactly where God wants me. Quiero ir a donde Dios quiere que que yo vaya. And John had this attitude about him. Tenía una actitud. Sobre todo esto, 
That he wanted to know why people weren't being healed like he read, he read in scripture. Y, y no sabía por qué las personas no estaban siendo sanadas como en la escritura decía. And he would ask me, why not me? Y decía, ¿por qué no yo? Why couldn't I be the one? Porque yo no puedo ser. That would pray for someone and they would be healed. Que ore y las personas sean sanadas. And I looked back at John, I said, there's no reason. Y le dije, no hay ninguna razón. The result's not in our hand, we just ask God. La resultado no está en nuestras manos, solo le preguntamos a Dios. Soon after graduation, he got a job with an organization. Después de su graduación recibió su, su, su trabajo. Called Trash Mountain. Ya, llamada Montaña de Basura. The focus of this organization, esta organización se enfoca, is to bring a Christian environment. Traer un, 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 un vivir cristiano. To children and families that live on trash piles. A, a familias y niños que viven en montañas de basura. Around the world. Alrededor del mundo. And they began this project. Y comenzaron este proyecto. After seeing the atrocity of this. Después de ver una atrocidad de esto. On the mission field. En el campo misionero. John was tasked to put together their first ever documentary. Él, él fue asignado a, a poner el documental. <coughs> And as they went, they spent the night on a trash pile. Uh, cuando fueron pasaron la noche en, en, esta, en esta colina de basura. And they met a little little boy the next morning. Conocieron a un niño la siguiente mañana. His name was Eugene. Su nombre era Eugene. Okay. And when they walked up to Eugene's hut, cuando entraron a la choza de, de este niño, they realized that he wasn't moving his legs at all. Se dieron cuenta que él no movía sus piernas del todo. And when Eugene saw them coming, he began to cry and began to scream. Y cuando él los vio venir, el niño empezó a llorar y empezó a gritar. See, Eugene had been crippled since he was born. Él había sido cojo desde que nació. They even tried a surgery on him to, to, to try to help him walk. Intentaron hacer la cirugía para que él pudiera caminar. But it didn't work. And he was living in pain. Y él vivía en dolor, en, en dolor. And so they asked the family, could we pray for him? Y le preguntaron a la familia, ¿puedo orar por él? I can just see my friend John right now. Puedo ver a mi amigo John ahorita. Believing in all of his heart. Creyendo en todo su corazón. This is the moment. Este es el momento. For nothing is impossible with God. Que nada es imposible I can para see Dios. him with a grin on his face. Puedo ver, verlo con su sonrisa. Because he knew God was going to heal this young man. Sabía que Dios iba a sanar a este niño. And they gathered around and they laid their hands on him. Y sus manos al and señor. they prayed. Y oraron. And they prayed. Y oraron. And when they said amen, y cuando dijeron, amen nothing happened. And John was frustrated. Y, y John estaba frustrado. He walked away that day not knowing what God was going to do. Y se apartó esa noche no sabiendo que lo que Dios iba a hacer. He said, God, I don't understand you. Y dijo, Dios, no te entiendo. That's a little boy. Es un niño. He should walk. Debería de caminar. He should run. Debería de correr. John left. Uh, John se fue. Went on filming the documentary. Continuó filmando su documental. Seven months later, they returned to that trash pile. Regresaron siete meses después a, a esa colina. Was it long after he was there? No fue mucho tiempo después de que estuvo allí. He began to ask about Eugene. Que empezó a preguntar acerca de este niño Eugene. He said, "Where is he at?" ¿Dónde está? Preguntó. They said, "Oh, he, they're not here anymore. They moved away." Ya no viven aquí. Se fueron de aquí. But haven't you heard what happened to Eugene? Pero no escucharon lo que le pasó a Eugene. I figured I would bring you the documentary. Dije, iba a traer el documental and let you see what happened to Eugene yourself. Y permitirles ustedes miren lo que pasó con Eugene. Can we run that clip, the stake clip. In a few minutes, we began to walk to the island. And the sister shot to the front of the boat. She began pulling and she said, Eugene, it's Eugene. I remember that moment. I could have jumped in the water at that point. That's Eugene. He's he's swimming. He gets out of the water and he starts to starts to run up the hill. That's Eugene. That's who we saw seven months ago. He couldn't walk. Thank you. 
nakakapaglakad na siya ng laro ay nakakaglamoy na siya ng basketball siya. All glory to God because medicine can heal him and even surgery can do something about that. But the Lord can do everything. Can you say amen? In Christ, in Cristo, we can live a life. Podemos vivir una vida that brings glory to God. Que trae gloria a Dios. The last part of the message. En la última parte del mensaje. Is that you were created with a purpose. Es que tú fuiste creado con un propósito. You were created with a purpose. Fuiste creado con un propósito. And I heard it from the lips of your president. Y lo escuché de los labios de tu presidente. Your president, tu presidente, has set out your purpose. Ha puesto tu propósito to serve, de servir, and to sacrifice. Y sacrificarte. You will never accomplish the will of God. Nunca vas a cumplir la voluntad de Dios. You'll never live out your divine design. Nunca vas a vivir tu, tu diseño original without serving and sacrifices. Sin servicio y sacrificio. The masterpiece is about your identity. Tu, la, la obra maestra es tu identidad. Who Christ says you are. Lo que Cristo dice que tú eres. The idea of living in Christ. La idea de vivir en Cristo is about your daily devotion. Es tu vida devocional. Getting into God's word, entrar en la palabra de Dios. Stepping out in faith, y entrar en fe. And being the man or woman of God, y ser la mujer o hombre de Dios. That he called you to. Que él te ha llamado a ser. The idea of your purpose, en la idea de tu propósito. Paul said, Pablo dice, is good works. Es la, la buena obra. You were created. Tú fuiste creado to do good works para hacer la buena obra so that the world would see Christ. para que el mundo mirase a Cristo. I have one big idea, yo tengo una idea muy grande a way for you to remember what I talked about. una forma que tú te acuerdas de lo que I yo hablé they'll have it on the screen. y lo van a tener en la pantalla. And here's the idea, y aquí está la idea that Christ makes us new, que Cristo nos hace nuevos that we can make him known to the world. para que nosotros lo hagamos saber al mundo. Christ makes us new, Cristo nos hace nuevos so that we can make him known to the world. Para que lo vamos a ver a él al mundo. And at the end of my time, y al final de mi tiempo, but I have one more story to tell you about. Eh, tengo una historia más que contarles. In 2009, en el 2009, I was preaching a chapel like this. Estaba predicando en la capilla así. And the title of the message was What If. Y el mensaje era uh, ¿Qué tal si? And I asked this question. Y hice esta pregunta. What if money were no object? ¿Qué tal si el dinero no fuera ni una objeción? No one would tell you no. Que nadie te diría que no. What would you do for God? ¿Qué harías tú para Dios? And a young man stood up on the front row. Y un joven se paró en la fila enfrente. His name was Michael. Su nombre era Michael. And he jumped to his feet. Y brincó a sus pies. And he said, "I want to start a business." Y dijo, Quiero empezar un negocio. That the proceeds go to build orphanages in Zambia. Que las ganancias vayan a, a, a un orfanatorio en Zambia. God's given me a heart for missions. Dios me da un corazón a misiones. And it begins in Zambia. Y empieza en Zambia. And that young man so impacted me. You know, sometimes you say things under the anointing that aren't normal. Dice, algunas veces dice la, 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 la cosas en unción que no son You say things and when you say them, you're like, "Why did I just say that?" Y dice, ¿Por qué dije esto a veces? I look back at this kid. Y volteé a ver este joven. I said, "Well, what are you waiting on? Do it now." Y dije, ¿Qué esperas? Hazlo ahora. I don't know why I said that. No sé por qué lo dije. Six weeks later, seis semanas después, he launched his first business. Empezó con su propio uh, negocio. Called Design the Difference. Dice diseña el, difer el diferencia. It's a t-shirt company. Era una una compañía de, de de camisas. God gave him free office space. Dios le dio una oficina libre. In the heart of our city. Gratis en en el corazón de la ciudad. And he gave his first check. Y dio su primer uh, pa uh, uh, check it to build an orphanage. Para construir un orfanato. Within the first three months. En los primeros tres meses. Let me tell you something. God has designed you. Dios te ha diseñado a ti. To take your gifts. De tomar tus dones. And to give them away. Y da y dárselos. What dones. God has given you is never meant to stay with you. Lo que Dios te ha dado nunca tiene que quedarse contigo. What God has given you. Lo que Dios te ha dado a ti is meant to be generously given to others. Tiene que ser generosamente dado a los demás. You're a masterpiece. Tú eres una obra maestra. There's no one else like you. No hay nadie como tú. And if you'll stay in Christ. Y si tú te quedas en Cristo. You'll do good works. For the rest of your life. Todas buenas obras por el resto de tu vida. And the world will know He is God. Y el mundo sabrá que él es Dios. And the world will know there's a Savior. Y el mundo sabrá que hay un Salvador. He makes us new. Que nos hace nuevo. So we can make Him known. Para que nosotros lo hagamos a él saber. Man, if you're here today, si estás aquí hoy, and you say I want courage, dices quiero ese valor to live like a masterpiece. Para vivir como una obra maestra. I want you to stand to your feet. Right quiero que te pares a tus pies ahorita.
I want to pray for you. Quiero orar por ti. That God would fill you. Que Dios te dé unción. With his Holy Spirit. Que la unción del Espíritu Santo. Let's pray. Vamos a orar. Father, in the name of Jesus. Padre, en el nombre de Jesús. Lord, you see us this morning. Nos ves esta mañana. Our heart is to live like a masterpiece. Nuestro corazón es vivir como una obra maestra. To live in you. Vivir en ti. So that we could do good for the world. Para hacer bien para el mundo. God, fill us today. Llénanos hoy, Padre. Fill us every day. Llénanos todos los días. With your Holy Spirit. Con tu Espíritu Santo. God, I pray for dreams. Uh, clamo por, por sueños. I pray for innovators. Oro por innovación. Por innovadores. That would step out in faith. Que se paren en fe and follow the call of God. Y te sigan en el llamado de Dios. I pray that from this place, Como que en este lugar, the gospel, el evangelio, the kingdom of God, el reino de los, de Dios, would advance. Avance. God, I pray you continue to bless this place. Padre, sigue bendiciendo este bless lugar. these students. Bendice a sus estudiantes. Open up the doors of heaven Abre las puertas de los cielos. and pour out a blessing upon them. Y derrama bendición sobre ellos. And God, let us never forget que nunca se nos olvide. You made us new. Que nos hiciste nuevo. So we can make you known. Para hacerte conocer. Amen. amen. And amen. amen. God bless you. Thank you for that.